All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It is an exciting day. We finally got the transmission back from Jake's performance. Years later. Two years later. They were having problems getting parts, I understand it. So, finally got it. We got the motor ready to go. The car is sitting over here, and I got the engine bay all cleaned up. Got my steering rack in. We're gonna set the motor in, get the transmission in there, and the plan is to fire this thing up tonight. So, here we go. All right, going home. <laughs> so, we're gonna take this thing, and we're gonna put it on a lift, and we're gonna lower that motor down in there, and then put that transmission in there and then kick him in the nuts. Yee, yeah, brother. <laughs> All right, brother, she's in there. No wonder it's so fast. You got yeah. the cleaner valley cover. I am pretty pumped about the cleanest valve cover. I'm not gonna lie, I went full fanboy on that one, but I have no shame in that. We're gonna get that transmission in there, but first, we're gonna pull that stuff off there and see what it looks like. Apparently Jake's performance put us a little note. It says, baseball is wrong. A man with four balls cannot walk. You just grew an eighth ball. <laughs> All right, she's up there. We're gonna raise the car up and bolt her up to the engine. Making some decent progress finally. Not gonna lie, I almost forgot to put this in. You usually install that after you put the transmission ah, yeah. in. After about, what do you say, 15 minutes oh, yeah. of trying to get this torque converter in, man, them splinters are tight, but we finally got it shoved on there. So she's ready to go. Slide it up in there. It's got my flex plate bolt only torque and the harmonic balancer torque. Good enough. Yeah, they're torquing that. All right, so we got the transmission up in there. The bell housing bolts are in. Put this mount up in there and actually mount the transmission so we can lower the training jack down. And then we start it up. Yeah, we're gonna start it. <laughs> okay guys, we are making some slight progress. We're gonna set the headers in there now, bolt them things up. We're having problems getting a tent. Today, Junior. We're having problems getting a belt tensioner. We went to the parts store twice now and both of them are wrong. But we did find one that's about 45 minutes from here. So we're gonna work on getting everything done here as much as we can. And then if we get to that point where we need a belt tensioner, I wanna actually go drive this thing. Then we'll go get that. But now we're just gonna work on knocking all this stuff out. And hopefully my buddy Austin's gonna come and set this windshield in because it would be an interesting task trying to drive this thing without a windshield, but. It'll be fine. <laughs> it's not that fast anyway. Yeah. It'll buff. Basically ready to put the intake on now. I was cleaning up my wiring under there, put some grounds on, set the turbos on, get the turbo feed and oil drains out of there. And we're getting pretty close to starting this thing up. All right, we got the turbos on there. Uh, they're a lot more ridiculous than I remember. Don't get this one, baby. But, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. What do you say you wanted? The thing is for the thing. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> hey, the, won't fit. The thing you won't ruin the thing either. Uh, Dude, this is well, not that might be an issue. Is, isn't it? Why won't it go in there further? God, you know, if I knew, I, I would have told you by now. <laughs> All right, guys, we're putting the transmission fluid in. The engine oil is transmission in. Transmission fluid? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we actually had to put the high guard in that so we knew how many quarts I'm putting in there. So we're filling that up. The engine oil, you just got done putting in, right? Yep, I put one quart in. Did you put some antifreeze and water in uh, the yep, radiator? Yep, yep. We're about five minutes away from starting this thing up. We're gonna figure out if I screwed up or not. Five minutes? <laughs> It's currently six. Five minutes, five hours, whatever. All right, well, after a little bit of electric issues, I figured out I pulled out a fuse and put it back in, and now it's working. So I don't know. Very, uh, very scientific way to fix things, but we had a fuel leak that was spraying right in the toolbox here. So we got that fixed, and we're gonna try to fire this thing. Are you nervous? Because I'm very nervous. I, <laughs> I am extremely <laughs> nervous. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, now nothing. All right. Oh my god. Oh. Um. Not it's not cranking over now. All right, I'm hoping that this is it. I left the chassis ground off of it, so let's hope this does it. Fuel pump is screaming. I'm pretty nervous, I'm not going to lie. Alright guys, 
guys, she's back running. I am having a few issues. I got a voltage drop somewhere, so every time I get the key, it just cranks over slow. Something that stumped me that I actually didn't know is this transmission already has a trans brake in it, and I didn't know you had to wire up the trans brake for the reverse to work. That's a new thing to me, but my buddy Clint ended up informing me of that the other night. So I got this trans brake saver, the input saver, so I gotta wire that up, and then I'll wire my trans brake into the computer, and then that will be good to go. And then hopefully I'm assuming my reverse will work. I'm gonna get those two things done tomorrow night. So I'm gonna get it driving hopefully by the end of this weekend because there's a car show that I wanna go to on Sunday. But all that will be for next week's videos. So come back to see what I tear up. I'll see you later guys.